Afternoon Cactus people. It's the middle of September here in the Cactus House and today we're going to be having a look at a few of the seed pods on some of the cacti. And I've gathered a few together to make things easier here. And we'll start off with this one over here. This is a Peronia arabescence. And I've already had several seed pods off, off of here. Probably about a thousand seeds out of them. Uh, but these three that are left, um, some later flowers that it had. And I've left these on here deliberately so we can have a look at them. And the first one, you can just about see the seeds poking through this one where it's splitting. I'll gently put it off. And put it down here. Uh, a bit difficult to split it up with one hand. See what I can do. Yeah, there's a few there. There's a few hundred seeds in that one. And previous years I've had about 2,000 seeds off that one plant. And so we've got enough of those at the moment. And not all the cacti have set seed this year. I've just gathered together the few that have, or some of them that have. Uh, this one here, Gymnocalysium, this is the first time I've had a seed pod set on one of these. And before this year, I didn't even know what the seed pods even looked like. I had to look on uh, Daz's channel, Cacti Mania, to see what they even look like. Yeah, very pleased with that one. And leave that on there until it's good and ripe. Over here, got a Mammalaria fradiana, it's a very hook spine cactus, and that's got several seed pods set, set on that one. In fact, one of them dropped off into the flower pot the other day, so I'm pretty sure they're ripe. And these two, Mammalaria boccasanas, these, um, don't generally set seeds from the flowers in the first year. The seed pods come out um, from flowers that uh, happened last year that got fertilised. And you really have to watch it with these seed pods. If you've got any mice around, they'll have the seed pods away. Likewise with slugs. Uh, they seem to be able to smell them from miles off. That's both mice and slugs, and they find them extremely tasty. I don't know why, so there's not really much in there apart from seeds and a bit of slime. Let's have this one off and have a closer look. Quite a long pod, and when you open them up, there's quite a sort of sweet smell to them. And they generally contain about 20 to 30 seeds. I'll put them over here with the rest. When I do uh, collect them, I put them into uh, little tins like this, make sure they're fully dry, and I label each tin so it's very easy to forget which seeds are which. And this one is also a first for me, had two of these um, Echinopsis flower at the same time this year. And normally when they're flowered, the flowers just drop off. This is an old one that wasn't fertilised, nothing at the end there, it's just a bit of fluff. Uh, but these ones I've left on, they form seed pods at the end, which are still quite firmly stuck to the plants. I'm not going to pick these today, I'm going to leave them on here to ripen fully. Nothing seems to have touched them so far, but uh, I'm hoping that uh, I haven't got any mice in the greenhouse this year, which would be nice. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that's just a few seeds. Oh, there were some on this one, which uh, is a parodia, which I harvested earlier in the year. Is there any left in that one? No, it doesn't appear to be. Uh, thank you for joining me today. Thank you.